Hi, my name is Brandon Pierce and this is Hassan Shelby. And today we will be presenting you the yield curve analysis and interest rate forecast for a five day period starting on Monday, October 27th, leading to Friday, October 31st of 2014. We will be looking at the financial activities that happen daily and see what kind of effect they had on the yield curve. Starting on Monday, October 27, 2014, oil prices tumbled down as Goldman Sachs analysts released expectations of a continuous weakness in the market inflation. Due to the expectation of a low inflation, this increase in the demand of long-term securities leading to prices to rise and rates to fall, which resulted in the yield curve flattening. Going on to Tuesday, October 28, 2014, U.S. Federal Funds Open Market Committee held a two-day meeting on interest rates. Due to the anticipation for a low and distinctive timeline, a distant timeline, for increasing the federal the funds kept the yield curves low and the rates high, which caused the yield curve to shift up. As you can see in this graph, the short-term interest rates are rising and so are the long-term interest rates, which are causing the yield curve to shift upward. So on Wednesday, October 29th, uh, U.S. Federal Reserve FOMC announced off their, the end of their bond buying program, also commonly known as quantitative easing, and also confirmed to keep short-term rates low for a considerable time. They had initially introduced quantitative easing as a measure to lower interest rates and to increase money supply. The effect of this announcement was seen more on the long term than on the short term. The demand for long-term securities rose, causing prices to rise and rates for long-term securities to fall. So as you can see, the short-term rates increased more compared to the long-term rates and caused the yield curve to flatten. This is clearly this can be clearly seen in the graph here where you can see our short term and intermediate terms are rising more compared to the long term and uh, our graph, the yield curve on Wednesday is actually flattening. So on Friday, October 31st, the Bank of Japan announced that they will begin implementing quantitative easing as a measure of the money um, stimulus. This helped to make Japanese goods more competitive in the market and also um, caused the interest rates in Japan to fall. As a result, more Japanese investors were attracted to U.S. securities where more higher return were, was being promised. Effects, um, as a result, we saw the increase in supply of loanable funds to U.S. causing prices to rise and rates to fall, uh, which um, was supposed to flatten the yield curve. However, we did not see this change on Friday since this is a long-term adjustment, the effect is actually taking place right now as well. So in conclusion, when we compare Monday through Friday, we see that our yield curve has shifted upwards. The short-term and the long-term rates both have risen. The five-year yields um, rose the most by 13 basis points to 1.62% over the week ending October 31st. Our benchmark 10-year yields um, increased by 7 basis points to 2.28%, and our 30-year yields increased by 2 basis points to 3.05%. Even though our yield curve is shifting upwards, since the short-term and the intermediate terms increased more compared to the long-term yields, our yield curve is flattening over the week ending October 31st. As far as our interest rate forecast is concerned, we can see that the short term and the long term forecasts are volatile. So we can see a lot of volatility in the short end and the long end. The short term interest rate forecast have rose and uh, this has all happened due to the uncertainties in the market. And in conclusion, we can see that when we look at the yield curve and the forecast, we can clearly see the market is volatile and if the flattening of the yield curve continues for a long time, our economy could actually go into another recession. Thank you.